Hi guys, welcome back to the Spanish Homestead. So today we're going to be planting up this area, which has always been like a dumping ground. It's where all the old wood and stuff like that has been put inside the shed. And I've not really known what to do with it. And the other day I was watching one of Liz Zorab's videos and it just gave me the inspiration. Let's turn it into a perennial garden. So the idea is, is to have this is going to be our perennial garden for us. Right, we're going to be putting in our cardoons in here. We're going to be putting in artichokes later on in the year. Uh, asparagus, strawberries. We're also going to mix in some aloe vera as well. Just for a bit of colour. They send up these really nice big long stems. Like this with yellow flowers on. So we're going to put them in for a bit of colour as well. Right, that's the idea for this area. And it was really inspired by, by Liz. So thank you for that. Um, so what we've done is we've prepped all the area around the tree. <coughs> we've added loads and loads of horse muck in there. Um, we've left it for a couple of weeks. So that's all now prepped and done. So the idea is, is to have the cardoons around the back. So then you're going to have the cardoons going all the way around this whole area. So it's going to make quite a big statement, quite big plants. Um, so they're going to go around the outside. In with that, we'll probably mix in with some artichokes as well, and then underneath that, we're going to put some lavender. So, hopefully, by the time the cardoons are finished, the lavender will be sending up their shoots, so that'll bring some more color. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to put some asparagus crowns in. Now, these ones are the ones that we dug up, uh, dug up these ones we dug up. Uh, we planted them about a year ago, but I made a big mistake of leaving a bit of mint in the ground and the mints took over So we're digging these back up um, And I am going to do a video on how to move asparagus crowns When the weather decides to Tidy up a little bit more So I have left some of them in the ground for now and next couple of days we'll get a video up on that And then round the edge we're going to be putting some strawberries now the idea with this is, is because we spend a lot of time in this area in the summer, stuff that the kids can pick out. So we're also going to plant some other stuff in there. There's also some, um, Liz mentioned about some kales and cabbages, that are perennials as well. We're going to put some non-perennial stuff in as well. So we're going to put some tomato plants along that back fence with the little trellis. Put some tomato plants along there. Just little cherry tomato plants and stuff that the kids can pinch. Um, and that's the whole idea of this area is the kids can come in they can just take what they want over the top of the archway we're going to put um, lab lab beans in there so the beans will grow over there they'll hang down um, yeah and then over the next few months we'll be putting different herbs in so we're going to put some rosemary and some thyme some oregano it's just stuff that's going to stay in the ground and then we'll just interplant with other little things as well that probably won't be perennials, but the majority of this garden is going to be a perennial garden. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done today, because as you can see, lovely Spanish weather's back, and it's raining again. So I'm going to try my hardest to get as much on film as I can, but obviously I don't have the camera in heavy rain and stuff like that. So I'm going to crack on. So guys, when you're planting cardoons, you want them to be fairly quite far apart so you want them to be at least about two foot away from each other because they do grow into really big plants and i'm also going to plant them about a foot away from the wall as well so that it just gives them space just to grow out as well so it's literally it's big big down and pop them in and then what we'll do is once we've got them all in we'll give them a really good water in. even though we've got like two days of rain forecast i'll still give them a really good water in just to make sure that they get enough water so yeah i'm just going to crack on with these now that's the cardoons in so next is for the aloe vera i'll get it right this time um so with this this was just one plant that we planted in this ceramic pot but three years ago so obviously you got all babies coming off it now and all you want to do just tease them out and aloe vera will take quite a bit of beating 
So, this is all new plants. And you can literally, as you can see, it's quite root bound this. So, best time to do it is when it's not as root bound. But literally, these will just grow back. Really easy. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take all these off. Just like that, you got a good bit of root on there, and obviously these will spread, so you need to give them quite a bit of room. Um, but we're just going to tease these back to the mother plant, and then we'll put it in some fresh compost, and then it'll start all over again. So, so guys, unfortunately, I'd stop filming because the rain just really opened up. As you can tell, I am soaked, but. We got a lot of it done. So, as you see, the, all the cardoons are in, all the way around. Put the strawberry plants in. We've put a couple of courgette plants in. I know courgettes aren't perennials, but just to fill the gap until the cardoons get growing again. And then we've, I changed the plan a little bit. So we've put the aloe vera around the tree, and up the side of the shed. And there's just a little bed of it there as well. The asparagus we've put in two rows here and then we've just got the strawberries just running around so plan is now is over the next few months we're going to get some actual couple of actual plants planted in there and we've got a bit of work to do around this side as well um and some herbs some thyme some rosemary um some oregano stuff like that and then through the summer we will grow some different herbs in here as well which is like your basil and uh your coriander and your parsley so we'll put some of them in as well just to fill any gaps through the summer so i'm going to leave this video there because it is absolutely drenching me and as you can see mountains disappeared which means more rain so i'm going to shoot and if you've liked the video hit the subscribe button guys and i will catch you on the next one see you later